everyone, Vasive here, and welcome to the stream. Happy Monday, happy Labor Days. Sorry, we're starting off a little bit later today. I was in uh, AJ the Nerd stream um, because she is painting a picture of Jada. And uh, I kind of wanted to see some progress on that, and uh, it made me all sorts of wiggly. So, sorry, we're going to be starting up a little bit off kilter here. Apologize. But, uh, I forgot I needed all this other stuff up and running too. I was like, oh no, it'll be good. Just OBS and then fire up game and be good to go. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. You should know this by now, Vasive. You've been streaming for, what? A little over a year now? Maybe a year? When did I reliably start streaming? I don't remember. Let me, uh, Oh man, I, I forgot to update all this stuff. Oh no. Uh I didn't even think of a title. Sorry, friends. Oh, Twitch. Not behaving. That's cool. Gotta do it myself then. Let me go to my dashboard. There we go. And then, uh, I need a title. I'll think of that in a moment. But we're going to be playing some Divinity Original Sin 2. And bam. That has been pushed. Update. That's been pushed. Send out one of these. My bot didn't attach again for some reason. That's strange. Not sure what that's about. Let's see if it actually is working, shall we? Uh, let's give a shout out to AJ. Because she's doing a Jada painting. Okay, the bat, the bot is not hooked up. Oh, it's because I did it wrong. I could type. There it is. Okay, the bot is connected and good. And let's play some games. So the story behind this is it came out. I'm not even going to guess maybe a year ago. Maybe longer, um, but it came out. I only made it to act two and that's like 80 hours in um 60 or 80 hours i don't remember um but they decided to overhaul a very large portion of the game added like i think four thousand extra dialogue um lines and just craziness combat system overhauls oh, let's switch to the game here um apparently they revamped things from act three onwards uh in accordance to the story, I love this new background. Our uh, loading screen. It's beautiful. Um, but they added a ton of stuff to it. So I was going to play a couple months ago, and then I saw that they were giving it to for free to anyone that already owned the game. It's essentially its own game. It actually downloads as its own separate instance of the game, and you have to choose to play the classic or the definitive edition. So that's awesome. Larian Studios is amazing. If you guys don't know about them, they're an awesome group of people. They make this great game. Uh, they made the originals. And uh, they're just a cool bunch of developers. Like, they support a bunch of other little devs as well. Um, they interact with their community. Like, uh, you can tweet at them. They'll respond back to you. And they inter and they don't just can respond back to you. They'll, like, respond, respond back. And it's it's cool. They It's a nice little dev shop they got going on. So check them out if you don't know about it. Um, but this is the game that I built that D&D campaign. Um, on my YouTube channel, uh, if you look up uh, Trust the Arrow, I made a little D&D &D campaign for my friends and stuff through this game, and it uses the mechanics of the game, which is awesome, and it fit very well. It was very fun. Um, but we're going to start up a new single player, and there's all these different modes here. Story mode. That's new. You're here for the fun and the fantasy, but not for rigorous challenge. What's the difference between that and Explorer? 
You prefer fun, fair but forgiving adventure that rewards Clover's thinking in and out of battle. I might do story mode. Just because the game is already crazy long without adding difficulty to it. Like tactician mode, you're going to get ruined um, if you haven't played very far. Classic mode is hard. I might just do story, guys. I don't know how it's going to affect my game, though. But not for the, a rigorous challenge. That tells me that only affects combat. Let's see. US2 story mode. Um, because I think explorer mode affects combat as well. But it does mention... Um, what did it say? In and out of battle. So... That makes me wonder if story mode makes out of battle stuff easy. Because that would be a bummer. Looks like... Uh... It doesn't seem... That other people quite know. Difficulty modes. There you go. There's an honor mode? Oh my god. Wait a minute, there's no- oh, that's... Original Divinity. Uh... Story mode. Story mode details revealed. Let's see. Yes, stop. Let me read this. Talk about multiplayer. All right, I may just skip this. Oh, story mode. What does story mode do? Here you go. No difference. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, whatever. We'll just go with story mode because I don't know what the heck it's talking about. Because uh, I want to get through the story, actually. I don't want to abandon it for the third time. We're going to do story. <gasps> what are you doing, bird? I'm going to sleep already. Sleepy dino. Where my dog goes? He is. I bet I left the door open. He's probably eating all the pears. From the pear tree. He's gonna be gassy tonight. Lovely. Oh, I'm so excited. Some of the best writing in a game is in, the, in these games. It's hilarious. Character creation. Eh, you can select an origin story. Yes. Okay, so this is one of the characters. Name is Red Prince. Um, listen, listen to origin story. This is new. Cool. This is awesome. Skin and unparalleled skills as a general of the House of War. I, the Red Prince, was raised within the vast palaces of the fabled Forbidden City. I was destined to become the next emperor. That was cool. But my ambitions suffered a bit of a setback when I fell from grace for I wonder if they actually had an actor with a suit on. You know that mar max exiled, points because this was really good. Assassins. But I assure you, I remain undaunted and as determined as ever to claim my rightful throne. These are cool. Okay, so I didn't, I've never liked the Red Prince. 
Origins just have a rich personal background, custom stories, and unique tags. Note that custom characters don't have origin stories. Yeah, that makes sense. She's one of my favorites. Sabeel is dope. I used to be a slave. Kept under the thumb of the master. The bastard that made me hunt down my own kin. How did he do that, you ask? With the living scar you see on my cheek, this horror that takes no more than a song sung by Master Dearest to control my very thoughts. But now the tables have turned. I broke my shackles. And when I finally find him, I will make the Master sing a very different kind of song. Ah, uh, Sabeel! I love you, you're awesome. Sabeel's badass. She's scary, but she badass. Oh, and you can play them as any type now. That is awesome. That's super cool. Look how many of these are. That's awesome. All right, who's next? Ben Mezd. He's the guy I usually start with. Maybe we'll switch it up this time. Once I was a crusader for the Divine Order. I pledged my life to Lucian the Divine. The war changed everything. He sent me to save the elves I grew up amongst. I arrived too late. Lucian ordered the use of Death Fog against the Black Ring. Annihilating everyone I once knew in the process. Now I'm a mercenary killer, one of the infamous lone wolves, and my next target is none other than Lucian's own son. So another weird thing that's happening right now is I have to play this game through OBS through windowed mode, but hopefully nothing weird is going to happen. It, it freaks out when it's in game mode, it just doesn't render for some reason. I'm not sure, whoops. Maybe we'll learn something about Beast. I don't know much about him. I never played him. She's thinking about someone I used to know. My cousin. The Queen, in fact. A tyrant. I tried to stop her, but things don't always go according to plan. She cast me out to a forgotten island and made short work of my allies, too. Lucky for me. I was able to commandeer a ship and began a new life for myself out on the high seas. Aye, but I hear that the Queen is at it again. And there's something darker behind her madcap schemes this time. If I don't stop her, I don't know who will. Alright, so he's stopping his cousin, I guess. Losa! She crazy. Look how playful she is. All my life I've been a performer, a musician, beloved and celebrated by all. Did they change but her voice? I have a secret. I'm also a playground for sprites and spirits and worse. The voice that rings inside me now is darker than any that came before. Almost caused a bunch of my fans to rip each other to pieces. <laughs> but you can trust me. I've got this under control. <sighs> Step one, find out who or what is trying to take control of my mind. Step two, that was off putting. Make it sorry it ever tried. I like Loza. She crazy. I like your story. That's a cool outfit. Look how awesome that looks. I kind of want to keep her an Inquisitor. Dope. He's my favorite. Oh, don't stare. How would you look after eons in some ghastly crypt? Your people are rather prone to death. Mine 
I'm not. Yet when I emerged from my completely unjustified imprisonment, I found them gone. Our culture forgotten. Any trace of the world I knew all but obliterated. I must even hide my true face beneath an ever-shifting mask for fear you savages will attack me. That is how I wander this strange world. Trying to uncover the truth about a history you primitive people never even knew existed. So, what I really like about Fane is... Like, it's kind of spoiled here, is when you saw that opening sequence and he stood there, you, you probably think he's have some sort of like a gruff or undead tone voice or maybe multiple voices or something. But he's an aristocrat kind of voice, which was that was a terrible accent. But you know what I mean? And he's goofy. Like, the way he interacts with other people is hilarious. He has no social constructs and how to react and talk to people and it's absolutely hysterical i love him um so we're definitely going to be picking him up um i don't think we'll pick him up as our main here because i like interacting with him with my main so i think all right i don't like the red prince he's kind of a pompous ass Sabeel is dope. Ben is a like beast. Eh. Losa. So I think we're going to go Fane, Losa, Ben Mezd, and Sabeel. Okay, so I think we're going to start with Ben Mezd. Hmm. What kind of skills set do we want? Knight. Metamorph. Metamorphs are like uh, polymorph people. Rogue, Shadow Blade, Wayfarer, Witch, Wizard, Battle Mage, Cleric. Look at how cool they look, man. I might go. Oh, this is the Mosquito. They might have changed all these skills, too. This is kind of cool. Inquisitors are uh, melee spellcasters that can heal themselves. That's pretty sweet. I might go knight. Just because that's a great way to start. Metamorph sounds fun. They get a bunch of extra skill points and stuff too. Alright, let's do Metamorph. Gives you 5% bonus critical chance and 10 critical chance multiplier. Oh. One bartering. So that crit chance makes you think you'd be a good rogue. Or Wayfarer. I might keep him Knight. Yeah, let's keep him Knight. Alright, oh, here you go. Oh, you can change their colors. Really? I didn't know you could change the way they look if it was a preset. Um, here we go. Here's where we can set up their skills. Alright, uh, Battle Stomp. Knocking down all non-allied characters in front of you and hitting others for physical damage. Crippling Blow. I like battering Ram. Really keep that. Um... Might get rid of bartering. And your items become more expensive. Alright. Unless you move item to a party regardless of weight. Go away. I broke something. Oh, thank goodness I could reach that. Abilities, not in combat, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... 